right, so today we've got a cooler comparison between the Arctic 45 and the uh, Patriot 50 quart. Now, uh, obviously, there, one's a little bit larger than the other, but it's going to be the most commonly shopped together. So uh, I'm doing more of a real world test of ice retention with a loaded cooler. Um, there's about two more bottles in the Patriot than there is in the Arctic. But so I'm going to open it a couple times a day. Uh, the weather this week is going to be in the mid 80s. So and it'll get I have it in the shade because uh, whenever you take your cooler on the weekend, you don't want to stick it in the sun. So I want to do it kind of how you would do it. And um, and so that's just going to be the test. I bought the ice at the same exact time, bought the bottles at the same exact time. The coolers have been right next to each other for a couple of days, so they're at, they're basically as close as we can get it. This isn't a laboratory. So um I'm gonna open it a couple day a couple times a day, see how it actually how long it actually holds ice. And um I don't double stack any drinks uh as best I can because uh, I like having more ice on top. It seems to hold a little bit longer, and so I want to do it how I would do it personally. So, um, if you want to double stack, that's fine. But I like having more ice on top because that's where the air comes in. And so, this is the comparison between the 45 quart Arctic and the 50 quart Patriot. Uh, they're built similar, so we'll see how it goes. Let's put some ice in. All right, so I filled up the coolers as much as I really could. Um, this is how I would pack a cooler for just drinks on the weekend, so I didn't want to do anything special for the test. I didn't weigh out the ice cubes, I didn't weigh out the bags, I just put as much as I could in the coolers to where it could shut and get a proper seal. And uh, I'm gonna treat it like I would do if I was traveling on the weekend and wanted cold drinks, so. Um, it'll get partial sun throughout the day but it's mostly going to be shaded and that's how I treat my coolers on a normal day now the Arctic I've used personally for the past couple of years I always had a good you know good luck out of it I've had a few Arctic coolers this is the first test that I've had on a Patriot so let's see what happens we'll close them up We'll reopen them throughout the day, two times a day, until the ice runs out. All right, so we're here about the 12 hour mark. I've opened them once today. Again, this is not a scientific test for all the ones that say that, but this is a pretty real world test. This is kind of how you would expect to use it on the weekend. So let's open it up. Where we're at about 12 hours. This is the Patriot first. Really, no change. A little bit of melt. Again, these bottles were not chilled before, they were room temperature. Here's the Arctic. Got a little bit of cavity on the side. Kind of see them both. Again, this is Arctic 45, the Patriot 50. These are going to be commonly shopped together.
but just a little bit of the tops of the bottles there. A little bit here. All right, so 12 hours in, no significant change as expected. So we're gonna cinch it back up. We're about a little over 12 hours later. Let's open up the box and see how it is. Now we're officially at the 24 hour mark, so one day in. All right, there's a Patriot. One day in. There's an Arctic, one day in. One day in. A little bit of melt, nothing too bad. Seal them back up. All right. Twelve hours, roughly later. Eleven to twelve hours. But to excuse the cars. <laughs> um, all right, let's open it up. So it's a day and a half, roughly. Here's the Patriot cooler, the 50 quart. Melt going on, obviously. Everything is still plenty of ice cubes. Clearly. Um, let's open up the Arctic. About the same, really. A um, little bit of melt. And today it got up to, I think, about 86 total. Again, it's in the shade out of the direct sun um, it's kind of how you would use it if you're at the lake or at the beach so one day and roughly 12 hours later this is where we're at Patriot Arctic alright we'll check it in the morning all right, let's do our check this morning. All right, so pretty good amount of water going. Still a layer of ice. It's the Patriot. Pretty much the same on the Arctic. Temperature is supposed to get up to about 85 or so today again. So. There we go. Sell them back up. Check them in about 12 hours. All right. 7.30 checkouts, roughly about 11, 12 hours from the last time. Let's open up the Patriot. Patriot's still got ice in it. Still cold. Arctic, let's open it up. Same thing. It's probably not going to make it past another day with ice, but both of them are roughly about the same. Um, 45 Arctic, 50 Patriot, um, kind of a real life test obviously, so uh, still got ice, you can still use the water, it's cold water, or whatever you're storing in there uh, for this many days. Again, these coolers were not pre-chilled, they were kept under a deck with partial sun throughout the day, it's been about 85 degrees each day, it goes into the low or mid 60s at night uh, open them up a couple times a day and that's kind of the result so far probably get one more day out of them and then uh then you know this is again i i say the 45s the arctic 45 and now the 50 patriot 
is a great weekender because it will get you a good solid weekend with ice. Um, you're not going to store ice for five to seven days unless you do something like a pre-chill, which might be on the next video. Um, but it will keep your food and drinks cold for a few days so uh, with uh, just one round of ice. I haven't added any ice to either one of them. So there you go. All right, let's close them up, check them in the morning. All right, so it's been another 12-ish hours. Let's open them up, see how much ice is left. Nothing much, water's still pretty darn cold. Um, As you can see, this is all the ice that's left, so. Out of the Patriot, let's check out the Arctic. And no ice, but the water's still cold, so. Waters would still be kind of chilled throughout the day. So this is the last opening for the coolers. Just what I'm going to do next is start another cooler test with a Patriot. Now that the cooler is what they call pre-chilled, means that within you know a few hours before you use it, put ice in and let it let the insulation cool off. So I'm going to restock this with ice. I'm going to drain it with water, drain the water, restock it with ice, and then see how many days we get out of it. So that's it.